Man, listen, man, who cares? Man, man, kill that noise. I'm be sit here quietly and respectively and allow you guys <laughs> to conduct your show the way it needs to be conducted. Oh, quiet man. on the set. Quiet on the set. The professionals at work, guys. <laughs> What's going on, people? Of course, y'all recognize the voice in the background. That's Mr. J. What's good? What's good, EJ? What's going on, y'all? How are you, sir? I'm great. I'm and you're great. great. I'm great. Life is beautiful right now. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. All right. <laughs> Y'all should see him. He looks so bright and just so nice. Oh, Mr. J. Um, for those of you that are uh, aware of the BFAM series when we were just like starting to become semi popular or whatever the case may be, um, we introduced J as uh, the newest member of the BFAM family. Yeah. And it, it, you was not a drunk asshole. That's how you and, um, <laughs> and uh y'all took it took it took y'all a while to, to to get to understand Mr. J because he definitely has his own ways of thinking. Um but once y'all got comfortable with him, y'all loved him. And then he disappeared and y'all was like, Well, where is he at? What happened? What's going on? Where is Jay? Where is that light skinned guy? Um, but Jay uh is handling some business in Cali, doing his own little thing. Got some, making some moves, okay? Um, so a lot of y'all had asked what was going on with him, but he he is back where he started off, in the background with the noise and, and the vocals, so. Yeah. Hi, Jay. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the film? <laughs> um, I love but, you, Whitney. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, I'm Wesley from A Connection TV, The Network. I'm Michael, you know what I'm saying, A-Connection TV. And you are watching b Fan, Brothers from Another Mother. It's a platform on A-Connection TV where we adopt some connections despite our differences. One be it that I'm gay, two be it that he's straight, Jay is straight. And, you know, I just wanted to create this situation, this little equation to let the world out there know that straight people and gay people can coexist and get along without there being any negativity around them. So that is the whole point of b Fan, baby! Um, so, first topic of discussion is the funeral, okay? The infamous funeral. Now, I'm sure everybody has seen it by now, and everybody has seen the people that have been on it. Alicia Keys, um, Tyler Perry, no. um, Dionne Warwick, Kim uh, Burrell, mm -hmm. Kevin Costner, everybody, a lot of people saw the funeral. And, um, to be quite honest... Uh, I was watching it live on CNN, um, great coverage on CNN, and, you know, it was very, it was interesting watching how the setup was. Um, it wasn't as packed as I thought that it would be. Um, there were like some empty areas of the church, um, but the choir was really doing their thing going in, and um, it really felt like I was there, like I was in the audience. Um, a lot of people were highly upset at the family for um, putting off the five to six block, you know, radius where nobody could be around the church and, mm -hmm. and, and not allowing the fans to get close and all of that. And to be honest, I, I get it. I, I get why the family did what they did. I mean, it's, it's their family, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, they wanna, they wanna have that moment um, where there's no chaos, there's no craziness, there's no rushing to the rushing to try to see Whitney. You know, when you when you get 
somebody like Whitney and you, and you say that she's died or whatever, she has so many fans. When you get a crowd of people, they don't know how to act. Think Black Friday, Walmart. Okay, think Black Friday, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, how people act so crazy for a TV. Like, yeah. you don't want that type of situation to happen when there's a, a precious moment as, as a death right. in your family when you really care about this person. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of understand why. I do understand why they had that block radius. Um, but, you know, they didn't have to air it live either. And they, they, they did that for us and we were able to take part in it. So I really do appreciate that and I felt like I was there. Um, Tyler Perry Tyler Perry brought down what? I'm just I'm just because I know it's Tyler so it's a sensitive sensitive matter for you whenever he's in. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Tyler Perry really brought down the house. And what I mean by that is he was reciting stuff from Apostle Paul and, and all this extra stuff, you know, stuff that I don't really get into, but everything that he was relating to what he had read and what was said and was relating it to her life made perfect sense in how he was using it. And it was just an awesome um, connection between the two. So I really appreciated him and his words. And it, I really saw Medea coming out of Tyler Perry <laughs> so, so hard. I really did. When he, he put his hands, he had his hands like this on the pew and he was, he was feeling it and he was going in. <laughs> Like I was, I saw Medea and going all like this. So it's like it was so hard not to, to look at him and not say, Medea grabbed the gun out, piss, peace be still. Like it was so hard not to do that. And then, um, BB Winans, CC and BB, yeah, CC and BB when they came yeah. out, that's when I got a little teary eyed because I've never seen BB cry. Never, never seen BB as the emotional sensitive guy never and and it was weird to see him get all emotional and teary eyed and had the towel and Cece was the consoling one of course she was crying too but she wasn't going in like BB was and then the story about um that they had with the tour and how Whitney was like y'all broke right and I'm rich right and we a family right it was just really heartfelt and then it really had a it really allowed you to adopt that similar connection despite our obvious difference yeah. with Whitney and how she handles the people um that was just awesome and the way he sang the song was awesome and I liked how CC tried to back away from the back away from the podium and he was like no 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 CC don't don't go nowhere I need you here um it was a beautiful thing Kim Burrell mm. Kim Burrell he she he me. like reintroduced me to Kim Burrell and he like he promotes Kim Burrell a lot, but you yeah. can speak about Kim Burrell. Yeah, Kim Burrell, Kim Burrell was nice. She was sick. And she wrote her own little lyrics. And she know. does that a lot. She wrote her own lyrics. She does that Especially a lot. Especially made for Whitney. Yes. You know so it and she does it on the fly. Like she does she's like, I wrote my own little song and I I hope y'all like it. But I'm gonna <laughs> hey, do it anyway. Like, humble, humble, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was hot. She was hot. is awesome. Her she voice is just Always. Magic. Always. And the camera's about to die. Okay. No! Um, Kim Burrell was an awesome, an awesome addition. A commercial break. Yeah. Um, Job, and then Kevin Costner had a long speech, and his speech was really heartfelt. Um, yeah. Really appreciated that. I think they and had then, a little something going on. Stop. I'm serious. I, they had a connection, honestly. Because that, 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 so that was, like, you did one movie with a brother. Like, I mean, you know. <laughs> Hey, no, that was saying. her first movie, you know. He, he especially picked her for that role, too. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> and then um, we ended off with Alicia Keys. And I... I, I, thought, I thought she was cool. I thought she was cool. Um, like I said, cool. You know? It, I it, thought you was going to talk about the dr dr dramatic crying and all that. You know what I mean? Right. I mean... I mean, I'm not gonna. If that's how she felt. That's how she felt. Yeah. But uh, musically, she's starting to scream now. You've been saying that for a while. Musically, she's yeah. Yelling. Like musically, yeah. she's just not yeah. pleasing to my ears. I would rather hear Mary J. Blige belt and go crazy than Alicia Keys try to sing. I, I mean, that's just my opinion on that situation. I just was not feeling it. The whole vibe was just real murderous, and I was just like. <laughs> 
Wow. Like, we couldn't pick anybody else to do this last particular tribute. Deborah Cox. Deborah Cox. Somebody. Yeah. Somebody that can Deborah sing. Cox, yeah. yeah. But, no. Yo, that was a strong statement. What? You just said, Alicia can't sing. Just say she can't sing no more to you. No it's more. just the only <laughs> when song. When she first came out, she the, was so hot. Yeah, so the good. only song that's that's been ever that I've ever liked of Alicia Keys is Fallen. Okay. After that. And now her career, you saying is Fallen? I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying vocally, she's not there for me anymore. You never liked that song. You don't know my name. That was a hot song. Baby, that was a baby. hot song, but vocally, it just wasn't anything pleasing for me. Like, I just. I can't get into her, you know. I if I, I just can't get into her. So did did that make you cry more about the funeral? Was it? Did you cry again? <laughs> You're funny. Um, <laughs> you need to come on the video. You, no, I'm chilling. You, I'm chilling. I, I'm chilling. I'm fresh from Cali. I'm just chilling. Y'all, 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 Jay is here, he's here, and he's over there, and he's I'm chilling. support, I'm the, I'm the audience. Um, but nonetheless, <laughs> I, I really do, like I said, I appreciate the family and the fact that they were able to, yeah. to share that with us. And um, rest in peace, Whitney. Um, beautiful, beautiful soul. Um, 84th Oscars is coming on February 26th, which is this particular Sunday. Um, I can't really say that I've been an avid moviegoer this past year to really give input on the Oscars. Um, Jay is more of a movie buff, so <laughs> like, who do you see like winning Best Picture? Best Picture? Did you um, see War Horse? Did you see The Descendants? Honestly, I seen War Horse. It wasn't like I wanted to see it, but I did see it though. <laughs> <laughs> and that means it was it was it was a watch. It was watchable. It was watchable. It was watchable. So I don't want to get not, into any detail beside, but it was watchable. It was so it's not best picture worthy, is what you're it saying. Was, it, it had a lot of symbolism in it. It was. It, it was a lot more than to it than just the title. Like it was. It was a lot more to it than just the title. But Descendants, I didn't see. I didn't get a chance to see that. I heard that was George, very good. George Clooney directed and wrote that. Yeah. Like, he's been doing that a lot lately. Who's in the scene? George Clooney. He's mm. in that. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean, hopefully I'll watch it, and hopefully they do something for uh, Whitney. I don't know. It's just for me. Every award show I think that comes out now for, the the for year. this year mm -hmm. needs to do something for Whitney. I just feel yeah. that way. That's just how I feel. Do you agree? Yeah, of course. Do you agree? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Chris Brown, Chris Breezy. Okay. Um, Chris Doodle Brown. Chris Doodle Brown, really? No. Um, Chris Brown has a lot of people hating on him. Um, ever since him, you know, winning the Grammy or whatever the case may be, and um, Rihanna's back on it. <laughs> she jumping on it. <laughs> we don't know that though. Now, honestly, it's a lot of speculation. This is what makes the people wake up and say, "Why are we sitting here so uh, caught up in the drama of someone else's personal life? Let's let's just deal with the music side of it." You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like all of that, all of that riffraff, all of that, all of that heat and scrutinization that he took. And look, look at the situation now. They they back together and they cool. And people were really he was being slandered, like seriously slandered. And look at the situation now. That's true. Crazy. Well, we don't know. They're, we they're, love. I love females, right? But they're emotional, and sometimes things happen, and we don't really know what happened. I have a strong idea what happened, but I'm not gonna say that because I wasn't there, so I can't be so factual about it. But she, she well, you don't have to be factual. She, Give me your opinion, honest, brother. Honestly, she's Caribbean. Like a lot of Caribbean women, I love them. They're strong, but they're very aggressive. She, she probably really pushed up on him and really put him in a position that he felt like he had no other choice. But then, and even then, something else might have happened. But either way, they came right back full circle. She want him to lay it down, and she want him to stay around, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's Jay for y'all guys. But we don't we don't know for sure if they're together. They keep denying it, um, and we keep seeing pictures of Chris Brown and his apparent, uh, a supposed girlfriend or whoever this chick is. And then you know we hear of the. The room was with Rihanna doing her little thing, sprinkling her little sprinkles around everybody's ice cream. Um, so, so I mean, I don't know, but turn up the music. The video is freaking phenomenal. 
Awesome. Can you, can you talk during this video? It's, can um, you put some <laughs> two cents in? No, I'm letting you do your thing, but you know, uh, you know, turn up the music video, you know, it's off the hook, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, at, it's, it's Chris Brown at his best, you know, um, and that video just spoke to me. It just said, you know, Chris Brown is back. Like, I'm, I'm here to finish what I started, you know what I'm saying? Like, regardless, regardless of the bullshit, regardless of the past. I'm still here. I'm still up in here, you know. And he's going harder and harder, you know what I'm saying? And the dancing in that video is is amazing. The dancing like, is off the hook. Like it's just it, like there is nobody out right now sorry. that can surpass him as far as performance wise is concerned, and just what he's creatively able to do, dancing wise. Like yeah. the dude is just a monster. And I I would have loved to see him. Like now and Michael Jackson at his prom, like both of them on mm. stage, they that would kill it. That would have been. High. They would freaking kill it, and like nobody, nobody can touch him right now. And it's funny because CM Punk, do y'all know CM Punk, WWE, mm -hmm. uh, World Wrestling Heavyweight, whatever mm -hmm. title mm -hmm. he has, mm -hmm. um, went on a Twitter rampage with Chris Brown, um, you know, talking about how. He would like to uh, curb stomp Chris Brown uh, and put him up in a real ring with somebody that could really defend himself. And um, Chris Brown came back and was like, and, and it's funny because he did the same thing with Miranda Lambert because Miranda Lambert didn't. I heard want. he know martial arts though, and I believe he does. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. maneuvers and yeah. flips with his body. Yeah. I'm pretty sure and he knows he's, that. He's, his body is. Yeah, yeah. Kind of fit and yeah. tight, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't see him being no pushover. Um, but you know, Miranda Lambert made the comment about him winning the Grammys or how dare they allow him to perform on the Grammys after what he did, or blah blah blah, whatever. Um, so he responded by saying, you know, CM Punk, um, I'll, I'll have my assistant reach out to you, and he was like, um, you need to lay off those steroids because um, you're not able to please the women if you do steroids or some shit, some something like that. So um, you know, CM Punk hasn't responded yet to him because he came real. <laughs> but Chris Brown is uh, Chris Brown is real witty. And I see an anger in him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not an anger like he wants to walk around punching people, but an anger in him where he's so tired of everybody, you know, talking about what happened three years ago that it fuels him, like, with his dancing and with his whatever to, to create Chris Brown or push Chris Brown even further. Right. You know, uh, a lot of people are talking about, like, his evil... Uh, his evil glances and stuff in the videos and how in this last video he had like the devil not the devil eyes but the uh light blue come on people light eyes like, everyone's and, doing it <laughs> so, so, so like this place Who's everybody doesn't look weird now, everybody, right? yeah like, everybody is saying oh he's he's into some extra stuff but to be honest Chris Brown is doing his thing and and I'm a full supporter of Chris Brown I really his his music is 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 nice and his performances are even killer you know what i'm saying like i that's why he's a good performer because he performs and and i can care less if he's lip syncing on the grammys a lot of you guys are coming on us for our grammy recap when we kept saying lip singing we know what the fuck it is it's lip syncing but that's the whole point the, the people are singing so we say lip singing yeah that's that's <laughs> what we do okay but um, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, but the video, the video was dope, especially when he did that flip when it was like turn up the music. He doing all the. But it looked like he wasn't gonna make the flip though. It looked like. And they looked, that's yeah, why they cut like that. They, they edited it, it out. out. No. Nah. But when he landed on his feet, it looked like he's gonna like fall and bust his ass. Yeah, it was but off the hook. It was off the hook. When he came out in the rain and he had the white with the suspenders and the hat with the cane, like the whole he. Michael Jackson. That was thing. the whole mic. It was there. Blue it was glitter there. Glitter here, glitter here through his hands. It, it was, was hot. It was hot. Oh, when his eyes was blue and he was. Like, That's what like, I was talking like, about, about ah, the devil stuff. He was like, ah, he did a little like crump thing. He was yeah, yeah. like, he was like, like, he was 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 um, uh, why stop now? Uh, why stop now? <laughs> yeah, son. Yo. What are you reading? I'm 
report of what happened with yeah. um, the, what we think happened. True. He got you got to get that's, that's right. the report. Yeah. What we think happened. All right. Um Brandy and Monica performed on uh Jay Leno it it all belongs to me. How was and, that? Um It was good. It was I get to see it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So What you say? Brandy, Brandy and Monica, Monica they performed it all belongs to me. On Jay Leno. They didn't know something. Um, I think oh. I think the performance was yeah, nice. They I think. Oh, they hugged. It. Then they said something about Whitney too, right? They was like, "We love you, Whitney." Well, yeah, we love. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah, I seen like Whitney shirt on. It's on YouTube. Um, yeah, I like the performance. I just think that the way the song starts off for Brandy is so deep that I couldn't really get into it when she when she started off the song because her voice is so deep. And like when Monica came on, her voice was real high and up there. So it was really, it took me some getting used to because it's like, if I didn't appreciate the song beforehand, I probably wouldn't have liked the way that the performance started out. But it ended out, it ended out well. I liked the performance. You know, as much as I love Brandy, I saw me crying up on here because she's following me on Twitter and all that. Um, it's just, I, I like Brandy. But I could still be a realist with her performances and give you an honest opinion based on how I feel. So I'm not always going to love everything that Brandy does or I'm not always going to think that everything that Brandy does is pure perfect. But I like the performance overall. It was cool. I'm waiting to see this video. And I'm so glad that Brandy hasn't succumbed to the death of Whitney Houston so badly to where she can't continue to go beyond it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I definitely attribute some of that to Monica because I recently, recently got into Monica, y'all, and Monica, Monica is on point. Like, seriously, on point. And she always I've been, been until she got corrupted by the penis. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I've, I've been sleep, I've slept on Mon Monica for a long time. I liked her Boy Is Mine album. I liked certain songs off the album. Street Symphony is always going to be forever mm -hmm. one of my faves. Yeah. But ever since Boy Is Mine, she really kind of went down mm -hmm. on the Wesley scale of, of listening the to music. Fellas, she started laying down with them. I'm telling you. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so for me... You know, it, I just left Monica alone, but I was on Vivo and I saw a track called A Dozen Roses, You Remind Me. That was very interesting. Very ghetto, very Keisha Cole, but that was very interesting nonetheless. And then I saw, where is it? What is the name of that video? Which one? The one in the hospital? Until It's Gone. Yeah. That song is off the freaking yes. chain. The video is awesome. The concept of the video is awesome. Yeah. It's so nice. And I've never heard that song before. I, I This is my first time hearing the song. Yesterday morning when I came um, out from the club, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Monica, what I've noticed about Monica is that when she speaks, she commands your attention. Like, she has a, she has a professional demeanor about herself and she commands your attention. I think that's so grand uh, for a, a female artist as, as, as her to the way she does it. And all of her videos, like all of her recent videos, have been really classy, really clean. And um, yeah, like I really, I really have a better appreciation for Monica. I'm just saying, you know, you gotta live your life, be free. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to China Ho. You know what I'm saying? Next week, next month. You That's know what I'm saying? Up. Over there, from March 8th to the 18th or whatever, going to Beijing. You know what I'm saying? Going to stay in the, the five star joints or out there. You know, whatever. Absolutely. Everything is cool. Yeah. And you, gotta, and you went to your martial arts. Too. Yeah. So you get, yeah. Get a little you know, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, I'm about to travel. Of course, everybody knows we're going to what Miami. We're going out there. Mm -hmm. We're going to have fun. You know, come to scream. And um, now nah, overall, I'm cool. I'm cool. I went to go get my passport. Then it's top it off, I heard I had to get the China visa thing, and I was just like, oh my god. And it was just, it was a lot of bread that was spread around. You know what I mean? Definitely. But um, uh, I mean. Travel and all that is, is very therapeutic and, you know, definitely allows you to uh, understand life a little bit better. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Traveling out that far, I just, I can't see me doing that right now. Like mentally, I think I, I mentally, I think that's where I, I'm kind of closed off, like leaving the U.S. of A 
to go further out, especially in an area where it's not my common language, where my language is not the common language. I think that's a bit, it would be a bit uncomfortable. I don't think, I know it would be a, a bit uncomfortable and um, hard for me to take in right off the bat. Like, we, I, I live not too far away from Flushing. And there's a huge part of Flushing that's basically Asian, Chinese, period. You walk off, you walk off the LIR to go into this area and there's not one English sign around. There's not one like English speaking person around for the most part. And it's like to get to, I needed to get to a particular studio. And for me to find that studio, I literally had to like, look at the directions, but try to figure out if these directions are in, like, I really had a lot going on and you had to like literally walk up to somebody and say, Hey, can you show me <laughs> where like, cause there was nobody that looked like me or spoke like me. And it was fun. I lived, we like literally like 20 miles away, 15 miles away. If that, I mean, you have this part of the world in your town, in your borough, that's, so not like what you walk out used to walking out to when you go outside and it's just for me if i go to a whole piece of land that's all like that i'm just gonna be like what the f like wait excuse me can we, i mean Me-ho, Ma. no Me-ho, speaker Ma. no english Shishi. Shishi. I, like, I, I don't, like i don't know it would be very tough for me like i would have to be with somebody that i really trust and that has been there before because i'm not gonna be we're not gonna be both trying to figure this out like i don't know so i applaud him and i commend him for s- s- taking that leap of faith and you going are out electronic there electronic gadget king all these gadgets you have, it will show you the language that you need Android. anywhere you at, and and how to get around anywhere you yeah, at. Android. That's why they have Android. all of this crazy technology nowadays. Android. Still, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just crazy. <laughs> but anyways, um, I just wish him a safe travel. That's all I wish. Of course, child, of course, you know, a lot of people don't like Americans. That flight is gonna be long. Too. Long as fuck. It, it is. It ain't gonna be that. And a lot of people don't like Americans. I'm sorry. I can't like. <laughs> I like that's one of the things that really pushes me not to go to different places because I know a lot of certain areas just don't really like Americans. So it's like you don't know if you're gonna be in that area and just somebody throws a rock at your face and then you. I mean, it's just so like, just China, blend China, in. China, don't China don't look like a tourist. Don't pull out a camera every five seconds. Just yeah. blend in. You know what I mean? I you know, <laughs> Adapt. I chill. Right. Mike gonna walk around with a, a, a kung fu outfit like. You know what I'm <laughs> Come back with like nine dots on the head, like, like Buddha bless you, my nigga. <laughs> Buddha bless you, my nigga. Did he really? How you, how you put playing, that in a playing. sentence? Like how, you put, like how you put that in the same sentence? Like really? That's why he got to go to China. He got to get that out his system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah China, he, he really do. Like walk up to somebody, bless you, Buddha bless you, my nigga. What? Yeah, yeah. Really? No, I'm, but the truth I'm, is, I'm Buddha to... was a nigga, but nobody realizes that. Um, <laughs> welcome back, Jay. Um. Nah, but, but it, it's it, it's more than a vacation. When I go out there, it's uh it's gonna be a, a little cleansing process for me. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, eleven eleven days. Hopefully, you don't be like Martin Lawrence did when he went on that uh that Muslim retreat and what? was hum num zum zum when he had the robe on and the afro with the one twisted braid in his hair. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you don't come back a changed man. No, I'm good. And I mean, they talk be like they be like sizzle what. I ain't Just going there. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It ain't nothing like that. But yeah, yeah, definitely. I can't wait for Miami. I know Miami. I've been around Miami. There are Americans there, and <laughs> I'm gonna be content. Like OMG, I cannot wait. It's going to be the bomb, of the bombs, of the times. I'm gonna stay in. I'm staying in the suite. We're gonna be doing it up. It's just gonna be awesome. I I can't wait for that. And I'm thinking about going to Dominican Republic. <sighs> you need to go there to the Dominican Republic tonight. Yeah, yeah. I've I, 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 I never go been there. there. Yeah. I want to go there this year. So um, that'll be my 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 foreign getaway, I guess, uh, kind of. But um, yeah. And they, they speak nothing but Spanish. That's another language barrier. Not the resort where I'll be going to. <laughs> 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 the, the resort is an island. Is a, is there are many resorts on the island, okay. and there's the the section that I'm going is all promoted for okay. Americans to go and have and a good time. <laughs> so, yeah, right. And I'm so, there. I'm be in a tourist area, you know. What I'm I would then, so, all right. So everything should be. I might, you know, a bite. I might, a bite. Child, I'm just saying. <laughs>
We have Brandon Brooks on Twitter. I asked, um, what did you guys want us to talk about on BFAM? Um, and Brandon has suggested that we talk about body image and mm. how it affects the human mind in, in today's world. Um, you know, I'm a victim of body image abuse. He's a victim of body image abuse. And Jay is a victim of body image abuse. No, I'm not. Uh, yes, you are. Because the body does not matter. It's the vessel within the body. If your body looked like precious, I would never allow it. It's if your that body person, looked, it's the mental development. Looked, it's the mental body, development of that person. If your body looked like precious. Wes, that's, that's that person's lifestyle choice, though. That's but what I'm, I'm talking to you. If, I wouldn't if, allow that. Why because not? Because my, my mind is conscious and aware of my health and, and what I present. Thanks to society. But it starts from within. What I want to project within is projected out. That's 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 what that is. Yeah, but you just admitted that you would not want yourself, you wouldn't allow yourself to look that way. But if it was and my that's choice. All, that's no, all, if I want to tomorrow, about, I can. But that's just not my choice. Right, but that's all about body image. That's that's the end result nah. and the effect of the way that we believe body it's that image individual. to be. individual. You got some individual individuals that they choose to live the way they choose right and that's fine but imagine imagine that bigger person walking imagine when 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 that big person goes to the gym first of all why is that big person going to the gym because the world tells us the way we need to look they tell us we're supposed to be fit we're supposed to be slimmed down we're supposed to have a six pack or an eight pack we're supposed to have pecs and muscles and all of that to look good in order to be good that's what we need to have so for me i feel like you know we're all victims of it Period. We don't... I I don't want to be... I mean, we all get I, caught up in the society's labels. Right. I mean, that's the part of the propaganda all together. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. But the, the, I guess the thing is, is should you allow yourself to fall victim to it if you are happy about yourself and where you're at? And for me, the answer would be no. Because I have some insecurities about my body. Um... You know, and when I when I release my photos and, and, and do my photo shoots and all of that, to me, I feel that my body isn't up to par. But a lot of you guys are ranting and raving like, oh, my God, he's so sexy and blah, 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 blah. That's not the third. I still think be my body image is piss poor and I need to do better. You know what I'm saying? But in the back of my mind, I know that. I'm considered attractive by more than just one person, so I get by. You know what I'm saying? I, I I'm able to I'm able to not have to force myself to go. So why are you laughing? Because you said I'm attractive. I'm attractive to more than one person. That's right. hilarious. Right. I mean, but it's the truth, though. It's the truth. I mean, that's how you have to sum it up. Like, how do you know like you don't have to go to the gym because a lot of uh, more than one person have told me. That, you know... It's called confidence. That's it. It's right. It's called develop of your mind and your body. Right. But at the end of the day, you still always want to be better than what you are. You always want to strive to by, be the by, best by, you. But the best you is... Is what though? Why is the best you a perfect you body like set and that standard. body? Image. I heard you say we one time we was having a conversation. You said you like to set the standard. You don't like to be a part of the standard. You like to set it. I'm speaking generally though. Yeah, I'm not know. speaking for myself. No, I'm just saying honestly. No, you I, got feeble-minded individuals and then you got strong-minded individuals. No, you know, it's, it's, the weak get preyed on. You know, it's definitely you gotta a love and help them. But hey, sometimes it just doesn't happen. It's definitely a choice. You know, it's it's um. Kind of like in the same topic as somebody, you know, join, you know, getting a, being a part of religion and stuff like that. Wanting to better themselves, you know, spiritually and stuff like that. That's a choice. You know what I mean? Not all of us do it, but that's a choice too. And that's not under the influence of society because, you know, we, we've gone through wars, you know, dealing with religion. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a choice. Is an individual, you know, choice. So do you have a body image complex? You know, sometimes, sometimes I see myself and I say, you know what, I'm going to go, I, I need to hit the gym. Why? You know, sometimes I might have a little stomach I might have, but you see, I don't get too crazy about it because I know I can you know, fix it. You know. And I know muscle has memory. And you know. So I know when I do fix it, you know what I'm saying, I know the things that I do that's going to fix the problem, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, And Whatever you know that more than one person finds you attractive. So you... Either you, way, you know what? <laughs> 
the, you know what? It's the truth, though. What if it's that the one truth. person you know loves you more than anyone else I'm in the world? Saying, it's right? the truth, though. Like, you know, it's it's like, the truth. Like, we, all you we, need is one person. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, for real. It's he the said truth. more than one. It's, right. it's, it's the truth. That's funny. It's the truth. That's like, when you, know, when you know that you can walk into a club and get somebody's number, or when you know that if somebody is, is in love with you, or when you know that when you... When you go to work, people say, "Oh my God, you look good." Like Listen. when people when people feed your brain, when people feed your brain nah, that it no. either tells you, you're and ego. Oh, no, wait, no, that's ego. Feed, when we, we, we when people into feed, the okay, ego when people feed your okay. ego, it's either it's either it tells you one or two things. Either one, you're good and you don't need to do anything because people are finding you attractive, or two, you only want to get better, so you proceed to go to the gym and do extra shit to get better, so you can get more compliments. But you know, you know what's funny? There's, there's like, I don't know, my point of view. Like, there's a lot of women out there that they don't like guys as well like this. That you know, they like them just, you know, just chilling, like just regular form, you know, nothing too. You know, veiny. This, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. bulky. They, there's girls that like that. I seen girls that had more meat than their man walking down the street. I'm talking about the dude is like this. They probably, they, want, they nice probably want the control and power in that situation. That's I don't know. They want to, they want to put that pressure on him. And you know, know that he can't put the pressure back. You know, you know, yeah. yeah. You know, it, I'm telling you. You know, to each his own. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a matter of loving yourself. You know, and it's it's um. It's it's battle of the swag, you know what I'm saying? That's swag that's, is and just that is, that is, swag. That, don't, don't use swag. We, you know, it's 2012. Let's get, let, you know what I mean? Let's not even call it swag no so more. What, it's just what, confidence, what you, man. Confidence? Just confidence. Okay. Confidence. That is, that's <laughs> innate, no, that's true. The innate ability to just know oneself. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's it. Like you know, right, swag. Let's, let's, let's let the rappers say swag. Let's yeah, let yeah, them yeah. do that. Ah, okay. Okay. We okay. a little mentally above them. Okay. I don't care how much money they got. Okay. We mentally above right, them. We let the rappers so. say swag. Yeah, we say yeah. confidence. Yeah. Say okay, confidence. so I think I think, and I know that the only reason why we have confidence is because what the world feeds us. And then when they go to the gym, and, and when they feed it to us. We like to eat more and more and more and more and more. There's not one person in this world that can say that they're not getting the newest clothes or buying what they like to buy to look good so that people won't say that they look good. Everybody, everybody, there's a lot of people who say, oh, I do it for me, I do it for me. That's a lie. You don't do it for yourself. You do it, you might, part of it might be for you, but you do it for the attention that you may receive or that you have received in the past and you want to continue to receive. Because I guarantee you that if anybody in this world never received any kind of compliment, they would not know how to judge themselves. Period. And that's just no, how I feel. No, judgment wouldn't be in their heart. They would just be. No. I'm sorry. I, I just... I, the no. parts of the it's, world no. you just told us on camera you would never go to... They don't have to deal with all of this that we deal with day to day. All this matriarchal. That's matrix, bull. Matrix, That's bull. Bull. That's no, they make, don't. It might not be. It might I not. Go it outside, might not be. I can as, take my clothes off and just walk around with. I don't honestly. Some days I don't want to wear no clothes. I just want to walk around naked. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? I gotta do that. I gotta do that on an island somewhere. You know what I mean? But, like, but what I'm saying like, though. But what I'm saying though. There are a lot of people. There are a lot of people that don't care about what the next man may think. Yeah. I, I agree with yeah. you on that. Yeah. But I honestly feel that there is nobody in the world that can say that they wake up not caring about like the, the mental, the mental, the mind is not made up on a solo basis to where everything you do is because you want to do it. It's not, it's, it's not called stages. No, it's not. You it's not like that. It's not like that. So, so for me, like for me to fit, literally to pull on pants. I'm putting on pants because the world tells me that I should have on pants. <laughs> yeah, you until, said, no, you until, said I go to, until I go to a new beach, well, I know I don't have yeah, to, and then yeah. I'll make that decision not to do it. Okay. But if I go and get some new sneakers, I'm not getting new sneakers because I want to get new sneakers. Because you, I mean, I could rock those Walmart brown boots that I got on my, my floor for forever and a day, but why am I going to get some Timberlands? Because I'm being told that I should really get some Timberlands instead of the Walmart boots. I mean, a lot of us operate. All of it's, us it's operate different that roles, way. But when you go through certain stages, you um, get to that point where you're not worried about it. But but you, know you I mean? but you've had That's to go a stage, through. Like but I said, yeah, but you had to go through all happens, the peaks and valleys of, of hearing, hearing yeah. all the compliments or the negative compliments to build yourself to be happy when you get to a certain point. Mm. It's all based on everybody's point of view. Yeah, but how Period. about, how about you got people, leaders how about and you got people? followers. That, I mean, yeah, like, it's, 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 it's definitely a choice at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Because what about people that, that have tattoos on their face? 
and they sitting in the train station or sitting in Mike public Tyson transportation. Mike Tyson you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what are they caring about? They I have to go through with stages in order to say, you know what, this is what I want to do. What about people that got tattoos on their faces? Because mm-hmm. that's not society. Because we will all have tattoos on our faces. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying there isn't any. There isn't a such thing as individual. You're just saying the majority. The majority. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that's saying the there is no individuals and there aren't any individuals in the world. What I am saying is there that there, many. there, there aren't. Uh, if there are people that exist that started off not giving a damn about what anybody or any like anything at all, I would like to meet that person because I don't think that person he exists. He won't be around you because you're gonna be coming with all this. No, no way. No, you're no, wrong. no, I'm no, not at all. <laughs> you, you, but, you doing this for me? You want me to love you? <laughs> not at all. I'm just saying. <laughs> They I'm just saying that they'll, feel, they'll send shit energy right away. Like, oh, now nah, this brother's not spiritual. I'm just saying. I'm just saying brother. that person does not exist. That's all I'm saying. That person does not exist. It doesn't matter if they're in a tribe. It doesn't matter if they're out in the ocean. It doesn't matter where they are. That person does not exist because I think that all of us build our lives and our platforms based on the net or based on what we see or based on what we're told is what it's supposed to be. That yeah. right. We in, but in this I mean, world, you're right. In this world right here, this one with the camera I'm pointing at, you're absolutely right. Everything you're saying is absolutely right. No. Based on that. In the whole world. No, I'm Earth. just saying, based on if, if you wanna if I'll give you the I'll give you yes and that you're right based on this. Because when he goes to China, he's gonna find world, a lot yes. of people he's gonna find a lot of people that look alike. He's gonna find some eccentric people. He's gonna find the billboards and all, all that. All he too. has to do and, is, and is, is, and go, it does, is walk around with tight shorts and then they'll know who the king is, the original man is and oh, that's Jesus. it anyway and he'll set precedent on that <laughs> note on that note Brandon on that note Brandon body image is only important to you if you concern yourself with it at the end of the day um I feel that you know where I'm at like a lot of people want me to either gain weight or to look this way or to look that way where I'm at I'm comfortable where I'm at am I content no I would like to be a little bit more toned but that's just for me because I've gotten a slight bigger. And what is I've, he touching? And he I've might, be- he, it looked like he's trying to touch a chest. I don't. It's a lot of. It's- <laughs> That would be don't, don't touch me. That would be that whole that would be that whole thought of of, of I know see that now he's all messed up now. Right. Like. <laughs> now, now. I don't have a chest, now I gotta get a chest. Fuck you. Because I already nah, know I have it's one. All love. You know what I'm, I'm saying? It's all love. But anyway, that's I mean that's how that's how that that's how that whole thing works. <laughs> I don't know if, if that whole segment made sense, but basically I'm sure basically if you wanna look good, saying. look good. Don't do it for nobody else but yourself, period. This coming from somebody that That's it. Yeah, that's all it is. Mm-hmm. Look good for yourself. You know what I mean? Okay. Don't care about what nobody feel or anybody think. You so know? when you get close, you get close for yourself. Every single time you get close, you get close for yourself. What do you mean? Close? Close. Close, close? Close. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. He didn't yeah. say cloths. Right. He said clothes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no cloths. Okay. Right. Sorry, you get my mom. Cloths. Say yourself. Yeah. Right. No cloths. When you go to the store, you get cloths. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Cloths and some sandals and shit. <laughs> So clothes, yeah, yeah, I get clothes. I get clothes for yourself. Yeah, I do. If I see something nice, um, knowing my girl size and all that, I might pick up a little something. See, you mentioned you the know. chick. See, you know, but that what what that has to do with anything we're talking about? It has a lot to do with the whole body image and the concept of 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 creating what we want the world to see and accepting what the world is seeing. Nah, I don't care what the world want to see, though. That's a lot. I love style. That's a lot. I love different styles. That's a I lot. would dress however I need to dress. I'm not only on one style. I could be casual. I could be, you know, because, for instance, you got certain, you got certain places you got to dress casual. You can't come hip-hop with some Tim's. That's the rules. That's what's set in that place. So you kind of have no choice depending on the environment you're in. So that's like so, going to an interview just all decked out with a hoodie or something. But what is that society that you have to dress up or you saying it's cool to just be how you want to so be? So are you are you what sitting on are you sitting on this video saying that you don't concern yourself about body image? No, don't switch it up. I'm asking you a question. Because there's times I work out and there's times I don't care about if I work so out or answer not. Answer the question. I know do I you do what or I don't do. you? No. So you don't concern yourself about body image? No, not too much. Not too not much. Not too much. Because of my body type, because of my metabolism. But you do. He's at a strong point in his life where, where he, he doesn't he care as much that. as anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This but, is a development. But that's, we, that's where we, we all should but be. But we do concern ourselves with body image. We do. 
At the end of the day, if I were to go like this and open my shirt and show my little abs, he would get up and open his shirt and show his little abs. That's being concerned with body image. That's that's the simplest form that I could put it on. Concerned. Yes, it is. That's competing. No, that's it's, it's being concerned with body image. And they would allow me to burn calorie, calories by laughing. Because <laughs> he has the best body out of all three no, of us. No, I don't. No, and, I don't. and he doesn't. I've no, been trying to get him to show y'all no, the body, but because no, he eats like bark and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 and they're like, like, y'all should y'all should try this bark. Like, and it'd be it'd be into a bark chip. Right, it'd, be, it'd be chips flying all over the room. The and word shit. is roots. It's roots, like her, herbs, bark, and roots. Whatever. Right. Root gem. Out with the chipmunks. Listen. Oh, but um, shout out to Brandon for asking that asking that question. I want to give a shout out to um, Amran M. Ahmed. Um, I'm I'm hoping it's a lady because it's a picture of a lady. And the thing, but you know, people on YouTube, they have pictures up when they're not, and that's not them. And body image. <laughs> right, body image, right? Post Shout out yeah. to you. Oh, you gave her extra love. Um, <laughs> yeah, because she did a tweet. She was like, be fam, be fam, be fam. She had one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, wow. three, four. Thank you, baby. Five times four is 20. 20 B fans. You got back your mojo? <laughs> like, <laughs> you went into the club, they soon as they said he was sexy, he was like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> no, nah, not, not really. Not really, but you know, I went out and I enjoyed myself. You like, know what song been playing in my head lately late, late, when I'm walking around? That the R. Kelly went bad, man. I just be walking around and I just be like, I'm a bad man, yeah. <laughs> like, like yo, it just be in my head. Like <laughs> you are silly. Um, but yeah, I, I like I don't know, and I, I think that's why he's going to China to recreate himself. Like I just you shouldn't your your thought process should never have ceilings. Never have ceilings. ceilings. Oh, okay. It should never be a ceiling to any of your ideas or your thoughts or any form of your creative processes whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking about going to Thailand and stuff like that, but we got a pretty good deal, you know what I'm saying, with uh, China. You know what I mean? Breakfast, lunch, then everything's included. Hotel, all that. So, why did you decide to go? Why? Well, for what, one, was the, always, what was the one reason? Don't say I always wanted to visit China. No, because the I, whole I, point the whole point is to so answer the, why. Why? Like, why? What is it about China that makes you want to go there? No, it's just it's just the culture. You know, I've always I've always been interested in the culture. You know, I've studied martial arts. I've done I've done all that. You know what I'm saying? So, to actually be there, you know what I'm saying? And... Plus, it's going to be a tour. It's not like we're going to be like in one place. You know, we're going to be in Beijing. We're going to go to um, Shanghai and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So it's going to be a tour. We're going to go around museums. And it's not just a vacate chill and just sip on a cocktail. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we going around to, you know, to be... I wanted to educate myself. I wanted a nice vacation. And I'm the type when I want to be out, I want to be out. You know, when I want to keep it local or keep it like, oh, you know... I'm going to go to Florida. I'm going to go here, whatever. I do that. But there's sometimes you just want to be out, out. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I never got the chance to be out, out. You know, I would go to Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I would go to different places. I wouldn't want to. I don't mind going to all these common places that people want to vacation at, you know, and they want to go to Brazil, here, that. Mm -hmm. Brazil would be nice. You know, DR is always, you mm -hmm. know, is always gravy out there. You know what I'm saying? I've been to Puerto Rico or whatever, but... You know, you don't ever hear people saying, you know what, I I just came from London. I was in London for like a month. You know what I'm saying? I was in Egypt. You know, I was out there. I was here. I was, you know, Thailand. Mm -hmm. You know, Thailand is beautiful. You see the images, the pictures, their beaches is off the hook. Like, you want to come back refreshed. Like, that's, to me, I feel like that's a real vacation. Because when you go, when you look at other um, cultures and you see other people's way of living, it's like when you come back... You start to appreciate, you know what I'm saying, your way of living, you know what I'm saying, and, and how much you're not as restricted as certain countries, you know what I'm saying, and how much resources you have available to you than other places that you've been at, you know what I'm saying, and it's it's just, it's kind of like refresh, you know, re refreshing your, your soul, you know, your spirit, all that you know, 
including what, what everybody feels about you, you know what I'm saying? What everybody thinks about you, what society says you have to be. Because you got other countries that, all the people that's out there, they don't give a fuck about what nobody thinks, you know what I'm saying? Vitalize yourself. Yeah, you Vitalize got people that got man. bones through their nose as a as a, a piercing, you know, people walking around chilling. Like, that's what it is. Where West they gonna are. be like, you did that because your clan told you you're gonna look <laughs> that's good. That's <laughs> the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, it's, it's, they are not thinking about that. Okay? They are. I want to know. They that are. Like, I, I just, I can't believe y'all, y'all, y'all don't understand that. Yes, Nobody that makes. That is a whole nother mindset. Like, understand, we were snatched and brought here. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, do you understand okay, that? Okay, great. Like, okay, great. To, Get to, it. Got you know it. I mean? Good. We don't need it. I, I caught it. Got it. You know Good. What I mean? like, but I, on, I honestly, like, I honestly think that. There isn't a person out there that can say that they made a conscious decision to change whatever it is about them simply based off of the fact that just because they wanted to. That's bullshit. That's, That's bullshit. It. That's when you're a kid, bullshit. You, you're, you're taught to and programmed in certain ways to do certain things. As you, right. as you develop, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't you have matter. to find your own it doesn't, way. Right, right. Yeah. And that's fine. Individual. That's where you become an individual. Yeah. But... We all make decisions based off of decisions that have already been made. Period. Which is why it's time to not perpetuate the cycle. Break it. Okay. We need more of those type of free thinking minds, those right. innovative type minds. That's what we need nowadays. Okay. We don't need followers. Like I said, we need okay. leaders. But when you go buy them extra set of clothes or them extra set of underwears and all of that extra, like that shit, you're buying it because you're being mentally told to do so. You know what I like to do? You know what's funny? I like to be naive. Because you know, you, you usually know what someone's yeah. going to say to you. You usually know how someone's going to act. But you just be naive about everything. And then you act surprised. That's it. it's, you know what? It's, <laughs> you know, that's it's, how you do it. It's just like, be naive. When you're talking about self, that's like everything around us. Because that's like saying that, okay, you know, society has put in our head that we have to go out on a Friday night. We have to go out on a Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? We have to go to a club. Why can't we just chug in the crib? I, I, I've I'm just that talking way. about I'm just talking about body image and appearance and the way that we want to look to the world. That's what I'm talking because about. Because when we go to the club, not, we don't come out jacked up. We try to yes, look good do. for the club, too. <laughs> you, you, oh, you mean before you go to the club? Yeah, I'm about to say, when you come and out, that's, 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 you are And that's that body image. Caring about body image. <laughs> you know, so, so are you a victim of that? I, yes. I said I was. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm yes. not. I'm not on here. Absolutely. I'm not on here. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> saying that my thought process is completely, you know, on my own. When I bought this shirt and got it in the medium because I like the way that it looks on me, or when I got these jeans, these faded jeans from a particular label store because I like the way that it looks. Come on now, really? But just like the re why did he go and put on that New York Yankee fitted hat when he came back on the screen? Like New really? York, baby. How old really? Day? I haven't worn a hat in a minute in the show. If you look at all the videos, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, he went in here yeah, exactly, the same exactly. My point has yeah. been made. Thank you very much. That's I appreciate me. it. That's me. I appreciate it. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching, B Fam. <laughs> Brothers from another mother. And it was so nice to have Ray. Uh, Ray. Jay, Ray. It was so nice Don't to have... Don't call me Ray. I'm nowhere near Ray J. Right? It was I'm so like, nice. I'm not, actually, I got a bone to pick because I heard he was with Whitney them last couple of days and hours. So, you know, I might have to pound him out when I mm. see him. You know what I mean? Ray J will fuck you up. Are you serious right nah. now? I'm serious. He was about, about the whoop fabulous ass. Him and fabulous. He will, fabulous name uh, is fabulous. That's all I'm going to say. Right, right. His name is fabulous. <laughs> Funny. Uh, <laughs> Ray, J, Ray, J, Ray J will step up to you and be like, what it is? I'm so confident and I'm so calm <laughs> while you say this because it's a joke to me. It's comical. <laughs> Highly comical. Yes. Really? To the highest degree. Really? Look at these eyes right now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, on that note, Black love y'all. Off. off.